also, I've done this now with professional association trainings, even working with WebEx. I now have proven that we could do it both with a wireless mic and a lavalier and a system. A WebEx is very intolerant, in my experience, to a lot of different hardware. So we've now tested that. And what's exciting is in the association, they're now able to sell seats in the room because of our work. And they're also able to sell seats with, with a system we set up so they can prove they're on as an association. See, you don't have to guarantee the person's there the whole time. An uh -huh. association that's giving continuing education, they have to guarantee that they're there. So we yeah. even have a check system that... Uh, I help develop. So it's a real simple check system and minimizes their cost as yeah. well to be able to offer this for association speak uh, yeah. groups as well. So now I, I offer, you can do it or I can bring the hardware. All you need is a webinar and we're ready to go. And mm -hmm. uh, that's exciting because now I've proven it across multiple platforms. And uh, just imagine if you're in a, a sub association and you've got 50 tickets in the room and now you can sell 80, 80 tickets remotely yeah. for revenue potential without a $10,000 overhead of people to manage it, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely. Exciting. And so I've now tested that as well. And it's real exciting. I, I want to also make sure, would you be kind enough to mention some of the other team members that yeah. have helped us? Oh, absolutely. Great. Well, you know, speaking in terms of resources, um, uh, Justin Rose, he's our uh, director of industry training for uh, the continuing ed division. Um, Justin's a, a, a young cat, okay? And so um, he's, he's real quick to uh, 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 jump into a new, um, sir, a new platform uh, and, you know, learn a new system. Um, you know, I like to think of myself, uh, although I'm one of the older uh, uh, goats in the barn, um, I like to think of myself as an early adapter. Well, you are. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we, uh, uh, Justin and I work together uh, doing the beta tests that we've done. And, um, you know, it, he, he's uh, uh, been real helpful helping with uh, uh, kind of framing up the webinars um, and, and maybe some, just uh, uh, setting up some of the, the stuff that you do want, you know, mm -hmm. and then you've got it for the pre or the, all the uh, uh, sub uh, subsequent classes. And so, um, you know, I feel real good about that. It's good to have another set of eyeballs on it as well. Um, and so, you know, it's like I say to Justin, I go, you know, I wish I had a hundred bucks for every uh, uh, computer system I've learned over, over time. Um, you know, at least I, I say I've learned, I, I'll say I've become proficient. <laughs> but uh, so I'm, I'm not at proficiency level with Zoom yet, not at least f in terms of my personal standards, but we are at a place where we can make it happen to the level um, of what we've been able to offer to, to the service area. And, and I'm going to get better uh, at, at uh, what we can do. And I'm, you know, I'm thinking in terms of our uh, classes going forward, some that will be, you know, of the, of the asynchronous variety. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, and we'll see, you know, we'll see how that goes. I know, um, you know, there's other schools doing those things at this time. Um, uh, but I'm looking again, uh, at a way to try to do it with, with, um, as few resources as, 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 uh, we need to use to make, uh, to make things happen. And, and, uh, you know, people want more online. They, they yeah. just do, uh, period. I think that's, I think that's, a uh just the way it is and well, um if, if we get if we can get uh accountable credit which we can we can track yes. them coming in how long they stayed now we can just so you know we can even turn it on if they switch screens but that's what you need uh in the professional development i need to know if they've gone to check their email and they're not looking at us we we don't necessarily need that 
tight an accountability, but we right. need to know how long they were basically on it. And yeah. they've set standard, they've done a good job at making a decision on the standards committee. I want yeah. to give a shout out for them. You know, whatever you pick is how long do we call them in the classroom? Yes. You know, and what does that occur? So those were several really, uh, I, I want to thank the standards committee of the small oh, yeah. business center and Ann Shaw, of course, because she's, she's been powerful as a leader in delegating to a committee that made a decision and had yeah. to look at a lot of variables here because we're using tax dollars. So it needs to meet the auditor requirements, but not make it so that we're setting higher standards and we set known classrooms. I'd like to let us end with kind of the overview of the process that we have. 